What made the boomers so self-aware and self-conscious in a psychedelic capacity? Because you see, that's what I believe separated the boomers from every other generation. I think what made the boomers self-aware had everything to do with the psychedelic drugs that they were taking that kind of put them on a different frame wavelength that made them self-aware about themselves and about who they were. And that's why they were so confident in being so autonomous and independent at such young ages, like 18, 19, 20 years old. It, it, it opens your mind, man. You know, there is a case to be had that the boomers, the reason that they were so self-aware and, you know, they took control of the government not too far after their young lives. I mean, lest we forget that, you know, if we talk in boomer era, summer of 1969 was the summer of love, dude. I mean, that's when uh, Woodstock happened. And, you know, that's at the peak of the drug hippie culture and shit, you know. And the boomers were self-aware. They were very self-aware at 18, 19, 20 years old. And many of them knew that they had to be educated. So many of them went to college and tried to expand their minds, become intellectuals. And what has happened is that many of these leftist hippies that were boomers back then, instead of trying to be revolutionaries like the idiots in uh, millennials and the Gen Z generation with Antifa and all this other bullshit, the Black Lives Matter, instead of doing that, at some point the boomers realized that hey, we need to integrate ourselves with the system. We need to take over the system. We need to take over the education system. We need to take over institutions, etc. And at the ages of early 20s, that's when you had a lot of these boomers educating themselves and going right into the institutions that created the United States of America. And as a result, that's what we are living from at this point in time. Uh, but anyway, that's why they're delving the youth of today. Psychedelics. Shrooms does open up paths to the mind that the mind itself won't traditionally open unless you're in, you know, heavy meditation or possibly REM sleep. All right. So uh, pretty much the opposite of psychotropic drugs and could help get rid of autism as it allows you to open up brain paths and shit that Valium and Adderall ruins for you. Anyway, I'm just saying that uh, there's a reason why the, the boomers are in the position that they're in, in my opinion. I mean, they, they were self-aware, you know? They were self-aware, so I have, to, I have to give them credit. The point I'm trying to make is is that that's why they have drugged many of you young people with psychotropic drugs. And meanwhile, the boomers have been in charge since the 70s. It's 2020, dude. It's 2020, and the fucking boomers have been in charge of the greatest American institutions from government to education uh, to, to corporations to nonprofits to non-government organizations to you name it ever since the late, mid to late 70s, and they have been in charge ever since. I mean, you have all these dumbasses that are out here rioting and committing an ass out of themselves, Antifa, Black Lives Matter, and yet they're being championed by the people who have been there the longest on the Democrat side. I mean, you got Nancy Pelosi almost 40 years, Chuck Schumer 40 years, Diane Feinstein, 50 years. I'm talking about time in public office, all right? Uh, Maxine Waters, 40 plus years. I mean, the people that were there that created the rules that these dumbasses are rioting and looting for, they're the ones that are out here taking that political side. It is the dumbest shit I have ever seen in my life. And I am ashamed that the American public is this stupid.